parts have runways. Some have more runways than others. These runways are straight and rectangular. One can land the plane one way or the other way. That means that even if you have a single strip of landing path, you really have two different runways. Runways are named numerically with a number between 0, 1, and 3, 6. And these numbers indicate the magnetic heading of the runway in degrees rounded to the closest tenth. So if a runway heading is 218 degrees magnetic, the closest number would be 220, which would make the runway number 22, which is pronounced 22, not 22. Keep in mind that if we have a runway that is 22, one could also land the other way. So on the other side, we could have the reciprocal runway, which would be 180 degrees from this one. So the reciprocal of 22 would be 04, pronounced 04 or 04. If you have parallel runways, they will be differentiated with left and right. A traffic pattern is a standard path that aircraft follow when taking off or landing while keeping the airfield in sight. When arriving at an airport, the planes don't usually just come in and land. They normally enter the traffic pattern and land from there. So at an airport, the traffic pattern is a standard path for coordinating air traffic. The different legs of the pattern have specific names like crosswind, downwind, base, and final. Saying these locations helps others identify where the landing aircraft is. Unless otherwise noted, traffic patterns are usually left-hand turns because most small airplanes are piloted from the left seat. When making left turns to land, this is a left or standard pattern. When making right turns, it is a right or non-standard pattern. If you hear a pilot say left midfield, they are on a left pattern midway on the downwind. To enter the pattern, pilots scan for traffic about two miles away and then descend to pattern altitude. Then they usually enter the pattern at 45 degrees on the downwind leg at midfield. It is important that we know where the aircraft landing or taking off from an airport is. If we're monitoring the airport's frequency and someone announces that they are downwind, whatever runway, we should know where that is with respect to where we are flying. Remember, it is always our responsibility to avoid any kind of contact with manned aviation.